name to a new um, era of warfare. Everybody's developing them. Um, we have India crash testing its hypersonic version of the Brahmos, French, the British. The Americans did have some limited success um, about a decade ago, and, and they still seem to be struggling. But the people out in front, the Russians and the Chinese, they have actively fielded hypersonic weapons. North Korea, um, it technically it's a hypersonic missile. Has it got the ability to be able to maneuver um, in the atmosphere and also hit its intended target? A hypersonic missile is anything that moves faster than five times the speed of sound. It's fast, sure, but it takes a, an unpredictable path. Diving from outer space back into the atmosphere, taking a random path towards its target so it can effectively trick any defenses that have been set up to stop it. It's always been the U United States and or Russia or the Soviet Union back in the day that were producing these um, new weapons, new advances in technology. Whereas now you've seen China out in front and they seem to have leapfrogged over various layers of traditional technology and invested in this um, and have produced something that's uh, you know, a practical weapon I and mean, can be used. General Mark Milley earlier today compared China's hypersonic weapons test to a Sputnik moment. I think what he was conveying uh, was the concern we all have about China's military modernization efforts. We should worry about all arms races, but we have countries that are not being limited. And you have to ask yourself what kind of fail safes are in place. So the more of these weapons out there, the more likely at some stage there will be a miscalculation of what they think their opponent's going to do.